Welcome to HRTV.com's Breeders' Cup update for October 23rd. I'm Michelle Yu. Nine days out now from Breeders' Cup and horses are starting to arrive here at the Great Race Place. Included in the plane load yesterday that arrived was Wayne Lucas, Buff Bradley, Lisa Giramatti, and Dallas Stewart. The coach was up before the sun was, of course, and took his contingent to the racetrack very early this morning. And when I talked to him this afternoon, he said he was quite pleased with the way they shipped and tracked. They'll all have works later on this week, but he said, we'll let them tell me what day they're ready to work. I also took a look at Groupie Doll, who's back to defend her filly and mare sprint title, and she looked absolutely sensational. I haven't laid physical eyes on her since Breeders' Cup last year, but I was pleased to see that she has gained some weight. She almost looks like a colt. She's a very big, imposing filly. In fact, I walked right past her in the barn thinking she was a colt. The only reason I backtracked is because she had her usual traveling companion, her jolly ball that she was ferociously playing with. I cannot wait to see her on the track tomorrow. Also, Leah Giramani did send out Sweet Reason. She went out closer to the end of the day, almost at 10 o'clock, and uh, she seemed to have quite a bit of fun out there on the racetrack. She was sniffing the ground, paying attention to everyone out on the track. She was playful. Physically, she looks extremely good. A very nice looking two-year-old, and we'll have to see if she's gonna settle herself down and really get to training later on this week. Speaking of training, last week the Dale Romans horses shipped in here and one of the horses I was not really thrilled to see was Claiborne, the winner of the win and you're in Iroquois Stakes at Churchill Downs. He just looked like he wasn't getting over the track extremely well. He was kind of all over the place, he wasn't paying attention, he was climbing. I talked to Tammy Fox and they said they've been trying to remedy it and what's been happening is as he's coming around the far turn, he's paying close attention to the infield where of course we have the infield screen as well as the training track here at Santa Anita, something he's not generally used to seeing over at Churchill Downs. This morning he was much better, hands down an improved horse. He actually strided out in his gallop very well and I'm happy to see him paying closer attention to the job at hand rather than the horses to the inside. Also caught today in the schooling paddock from the Bob Baffert barn, Fed Biz, who's going to be going in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. He looked absolutely sensational, head to toe, covered in dapples. He's lost a little bit of fat and gained a whole lot of muscle. He looks racy and ready to go. Also, Tappet Rich visited the paddock today, kind of a surprise late entrance into the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. He just broke his maiden about two weeks ago. It'll be interesting to see how he steps up his game into grade one company. Don't forget to check back here on HRTV.com daily for your news, updates, shipping information, works, and of course, the on-track presence.